Hello, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and today I'm going to be bringing you a layered paper gift with a card. Now, the gift is for someone who loves soccer. So, at the time I made this, I did not have one of the scoring wheels. So, when I went to the de to design space and I picked out the project that I wanted, I had to go to customize. And then I deleted all the score lines on everything so that I could create this project. Because if you don't have the scoring wheel and you don't do that, you're not going to be able to make the project. So here I am with the envelope portion of the card. And I'm just adding the score lines with my scoring tool that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just using my ruler putting it where the score line should be and then using my scoring tool to score it. And now I'm just folding it along the score lines. And it creates an envelope. Isn't that cool? So now I'm just folding the envelope where it needs to be folded and I will add my double sided tape to it. Now this particular double sided tape I've had for a long time. I used to scrapbook and that was from that. But you can also get this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm pretty sure you can get it from Hobby Lobby too. So I'm just placing the double sided tape along the edges of the envelope that are going to be taped down. You can also use glue for this if you want. I prefer the double sided tape because then it's not going to leak glue on the inside of the envelope. And then I just cut a little strip for the envelope flap and leave the backing on it so that the person who's getting the envelope or going to use it then can just peel it off when they're ready to give it to the person. So here's the inside of the card or actually this is the card and I'm just folding it in half. It did have uh, you know you're supposed to score it there so I'm just taking this bone here and making the edge the folded edge sharp like that just making sure it fits in the envelope and it does of course it was just one of the designs in design space and now I'm going to layer the pieces And actually this card and envelope were on the home page of Design Space. And now I have these foam pieces that I got at um, Dollar Tree in the area where the hooks and all that is. Kind of by the automotive section. And then I'm just putting some on each layer. And you want to start with a bottom layer and then add the next layer and the next layer. And you're going to add the foam pieces to each of the layers. So this is a birthday gift for someone who likes soccer. So this is not a soccer card, but I do create a soccer plaque.
So I'm just deciding where I want all my little foam pieces to go. Now these little tiny one, tiny squares here were from the Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. So I use different sizes. But they're all the same thickness. Sometimes getting the backing off of these is the hardest part. That one you could kind of see through, so I'm just going to change the placement. You could see through it in the B. And then there was a little piece of the cardstock left on the B there, so I'm just going to clip that a little bit. Sometimes the Cricut doesn't cut all the way through, and you kind of have to clean it up a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but when I started doing these layering uh, cards or crafts, I'm really liking it. So, um, yeah, there'll be a few in my um, in my videos here and there. I decided to make everyone a paper craft for their birthday this year, and this is just for you know my close family. Although I have a bestie, I might make something for her too. A couple besties. So this particular card, it also used um, the fine point pin on the happy birthday there and on the card itself with the lines on it. And now I'm just using this craft glue from Elmer's. It's a clear craft glue. I needed to buy me some more, but I couldn't find any in the stores. So I had to order some from Amazon and it hasn't come in yet. So once it comes in, I'll add it to my um, description box, the link that is. So I'm just gluing the blue letters onto the white backing. And the backing does have like a shadow box on the letters. Mm I had to figure out which H goes where. This one here is cut a little different than the other H. So make sure you get the right one. And if you've ever tried any of these paper crafts, let me know in the comments and let me know how it turned out too. And if you'll be making more. I just really liked it. So I did decide to make 10 different cards that I'm going to be putting out there in my craft uh, show in March. 
and I'll try to sell those for five dollars each. We'll see how that goes. So they'll each have their own little envelope and a lot of them are pop-up cards and most of them you can find on the home page of a design space. I made the sunflower, the toolbox, um, the jukebox, just there is uh, the hot air balloons, the box with the balloons popping out. I mean, I did 10 different cards. And I did not film myself putting them together. So, um, you won't be seeing those. But I will be putting them in my craft show in March. If you like what you see here, um, consider giving me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that and if you know others who might like the crafts that I do here please feel free to share my videos with them and here we're just putting the birthday on top of the rest of the design that we created and I'm just going to use some more of the craft glue for that I think it turned out pretty good. I just hope this person I'm giving it to likes it. And now I'm just going to add the whole thing to the front of the card. And I'll probably go on um, the internet and try to pick out a birthday saying or something or I'll just write my own on the inside of the card. There it is, my 3D happy birthday. Woo woo, happy birthday. And there's the envelope that goes with it. And there it is sitting on my desk. Looking party. And now we are going on to the gift itself. So I have this frame and it's just a wood frame, no glass or anything like that. And I'm going to take my apple barrel black acrylic paint with a foam dauber and I'm just going to daub all over the front and kind of inside portion there of the frame. I'm not going to do the back. And now I'm just taking a piece of uh, cardstock and I'm going to cut it down so that it will fit inside of the frame. And I believe it's an 8 by 10 frame. And now I have this cutout frame from uh, Design Space with a soccer ball on it. And now I have this uh, foam tape from the Dollar Tree's Crafter Square. And I'm just going to put the foam tape all along the sides of the frame. I'm just going to use one long strip on each side. I'm 
butting the foam tape up beside the other piece that I put on there. Now you don't want to get your tape over the soccer ball there. I'm going to take this smaller piece and put it around the corner there where the soccer ball is. Now this is the medium piece. I don't think I use it because it's a little too big. So I go to the smallest one. So there, there's three different sizes in this package. And see how that just fits on there real nice. Now I did not put any tape, any of the foam on the soccer ball and that was a mistake. So where those three uh, pieces of the soccer ball are, you need to take those little tiny squares and put them on that so that you don't have to do it later on like I did. And then kind of around the edge there of the soccer ball at the top, you want to put a little bit of something there too, uh, the foam. So I'm just taking off all the backing of the tape. And then I'm going to um, put it on my white sheet there. Now this particular 12 by 12 card stocks that I'm using, this black and white, I did get from uh, the Dollar Tree. They came three sheets in a package for $1.25. But you can get them a whole lot cheaper if you go to Walmart. You can get a 40 uh, sheet paper pack of the white for, I think it's $5 and something. And then you can get 30 sheets of the black for the same price. Which they come out being a whole lot cheaper than the ones you can get at the Dollar Tree. So there's the soccer frame on top of the white piece. And now we have the rest of our cutouts here. So I'm just kind of weeding through that a little bit. We have this girl playing soccer. Now I did create all these myself, not the images, but I did put everything together myself. This was not a project in uh, design space. So the frame was separate, the girl with the ball was separate, and then the numbers were also separate, and the words. So I just put some of that clear craft glue on the back of the girl. There she is, getting ready to kick that soccer ball. So this is for my granddaughter who plays soccer. I'm hoping that she's not going to watch this because her birthday is not until March. But I wanted to go ahead and make her gift. So I'm going to layer three of the girls on top of each other and the ball there. So I'm going to start adding foam to this piece and to the ball. So these are the little tiny squares from Crafter Square. Like I said, the hardest part is getting the backing off of these uh, foam pieces. They're on there pretty good. So we got two layers of the ball there, and now we're going to get our second layer, the girl. 
You just want to add your uh, foam to the places that are larger, the larger areas. And if it's too large, you can cut your foam in half, like around where her legs are or her head. You can put them wherever you think you're going to need them. I'm just going to add a few more pieces on. Like I said, if the squares are too big, you can cut them down. Like, I didn't put any on her arm because her arm was pretty skinny. But evidently, there's a piece sticking out there that I'm trimming up. So you really don't want your foam to show through. Okay, now we got our second layer of the girl. And we want to go to our third layer. So there's the ball. And there's the girl. And here's where I decide that my soccer ball is a little too flat and I need to add some foam to the soccer ball. So like I said, do yourself a favor if you're going to do this one and go ahead and put your little foam squares on the soccer, soccer ball when you do the frame. Because I had to figure out how to get this in there without tearing everything up. Here I am trying to figure it out. So look at that. I got got this bone thingy here and put the foam piece on it. And then once I get it to where I need it, I just kind of hold it down and get it off the bone. You want to go ahead and take the backing off. Here we'll go do the other one. Same thing. Now I want to put some around the edges of the ball there. It just wasn't laying right, so we had to fix that. There we go, it's all fixed. It's good. So now we can continue with our girl. Just 
just decided to put two on this one. Now we're going to work on the words. So I have this word favorite. And again, I'm using my clear craft glue from Elmer's. Going to lay that down where I need it on my uh, decor piece here. Glue the eye on, the eye dot. And it just wasn't laying down, so I had to get out my roller there. Just roll it down a little bit. It didn't want to stick down too well for some reason. So now we're going to work on the word soccer. So it says soccer is my favorite. And then I'll show you the rest of it later. Well, you can see it over there on the side, the right hand side season. Soccer is my favorite season. So if you have someone that's really into soccer, you could create this one for them. And there are male figures also in design space, not just the female ones. So I thought this was perfect for my granddaughter. I hope she likes it. So the soccer word is kind of at an arc. Or curve, I guess. And then this is my so teeny tiny. So this soccer is my favorite season was all one part of a um, design space image. And I'm just lining up the is my where I want it to be. Now you could use vinyl for this if you wanted to. It probably would be easier. <laughs> However, I don't know how the tape, the transfer tape that I have probably would tear up the, um, the paper, the paper on the white there, on the white card stock. So that's why I went with um, card stock and gluing it on. I just wasn't brave enough to use the vinyl. So it's going to say soccer is my favorite season 
and then we'll put this year's date on it, which is 2023. I was going to use those numbers that you see there on my um, mat, but uh, the soccer ball didn't come out. And so I decided to go with a different set of numbers, and you'll see that in a little bit. But first, we got to get the word season on there. So I'm just using my little um, spatula there to get my letters off. Now the inside of the A was still on there, so I had to punch that out and get that off my project. Really, you see me getting that up with my fingernail, but uh, you should use the spatula. You don't want to tear it up with your fingernail. So now I'm just going to line up my word season there. and then start gluing it down. Here we go. Like I said, I really like this glue for paper crafts. And I'm trying to get myself some more, but it's not going to be easy. Okay, now here are my other numbers. So I cut these out on Design Space. And I just went to the numbers and then picked out a font that I liked and I like the way the three hangs down a little further than the two and the zero I thought it just filled in the space there on our project real well So I'm going to take the glue and put this first set of numbers on uh, the decor piece. And then the second and the third set of numbers will be adding um, some foam pieces to make those pop a little bit. So I had to cut up these little foam pieces pretty dang and small. to fit on these numbers, but we made it work.
So that's all you're doing is just layering it like you did the, the girl. You want three layers of the numbers. We got three layers of the girl and three layers of the ball she's kicking. You just want to make sure that you line it all up. That's the important thing. One more number to go. And then we can put this together. There we go. Now we can put it in the frame. Now after I painted the frame, I took some um, clear coat and sprayed it. And this is a, like um, a glossy, but you could use matte, whichever one you want. And then you just add your piece in, but these uh, staples are kind of down, so I need to make sure they're all up so they don't tear up my piece. I mean, come on, we just spent all this time creating it, and we don't want to tear it up. So we need to make sure that all these staples are up and out of the way. I'm going to add our piece to it, and then we need to lay the staples back down. Just checking it out and it looks pretty good. Although the black on the frame makes the black on the piece look kind of grayish, but that's okay. I still like it and hopefully she'll like it too. So I'm just taking my screwdriver and I'm pushing the staples back down so my piece doesn't fall apart. And now once that's done, we need to add a hanger to it. So doesn't that look nice? I love it. And I think she'll like it too. So now I'm just trying to find the center of the back. And I'm going to add a sawtooth hanger to it. And I'm going to mark with a pencil where the holes in the sawtooth hanger should go. And then I'm going to take this little sharp tool there and I'm just going to press it into the wood. It's just going to indent it a little bit. So it'll be easier for me to put the screws in. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure that um, I had it right side up. I don't want to put it on upside down. The Either the saw tooth hanger or the, the picture frame, you know. I have done it before, put it on upside down, then I've had to change it out. Work smarter, not harder. But sometimes I kind of work harder. So just add that on there and this is complete. Look at that. Love it. And then along with the card, how cute is that? 
So there it is hanging on my wall. Soccer is my favorite season 2023 and there's the happy birthday card to go along with it. Like I said, her birthday's not until March, so I'm hoping she doesn't watch this. And again, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and if you like what you see here, please think about subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. And remember, you can always share my videos with those that you think might like it, and I'll see you in the next one.